We're going to bring you a story now that will have you asking, is this possible? Is this real? Can you guess why this woman is wearing that outfit? As we said, it's not about the things you might think, not fashion or an affinity for bees. In fact, what's behind the outfit may make you consider it for yourself. So Lama Hassan is going to tell you this woman's story. You may be wondering, why is a beekeeper walking downtown? Or is this the latest fashion trend hot off the catwalks from Milan or Paris? But Sarah Dacre is neither a beekeeper nor a fashionista. Until two years ago, Sarah was a high-flying career woman running her own television production company. I used to ski with my son, tango dance three times a week. Um, and in the days I wasn't doing anything to do with activity, I would be off to the gym. Suddenly, her life changed dramatically. I developed palpitations, skin num numbness. Um, I found it difficult to stand up straight. I was falling over a lot. Sarah was suffering from something invisible and silent in her home. I realized my home, in addition to the masts and the Wi-Fi, was actually a, a thumping hive of electromagnetic radiation. Um, it's really minimizing electromagnetic smog in my environment. And then I've been able to live quite peacefully. Beneath the coats of magnolia paint in her bedroom lie wallpaper lined with foil to shield her. And it actually protects to about 99% of electromagnetic radiation. Her house has become her safe haven. This isn't your everyday fashion accessory, but for Sarah, it's an essential part of her wardrobe. Here's why. This is an electro smog detector. Listen to what happens when I switch it on. Now underneath the netting, it's almost silent. The fabric protects her from electromagnetic radiation. It's an allergy known as electrohypersensitivity, or EHS. It's a condition where some people seem to be hypersensitive, overreactive to levels of exposure to electromagnetic radiation, which don't affect the majority of the population. It's rather like an allergy to electromagnetic fields. With Wi-Fi being installed at cafes and classrooms, and electric power lines going up all the time, the question remains, why worry? Some scientists say that the average home with a laptop, stereo and microwave has relatively low levels of electromagnetic radiation, but warn that if you are close to Wi-Fi equipment, levels can jump up to 100 times higher. I think I've probably seen more patients in the last two years with the HS than I saw in the previous 10. Uh, and the reason for this is probably that we're getting more and more exposed because of the electromagnetic radiation. We're becoming a Wi-Fi world. And Sarah won't give in. It's not too bad sitting here. She is now using what she calls her disability to raise awareness and prove that electromagnetic radiation really is a serious health issue. <laughs> so good morning, America.